Hi Aries, welcome to your love connection reading for the first half of September. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you, thank you so much. Please do check the description box below for any and all information you need about me and readings, uh, social media links, decks I'm using, tons and tons of information there. So please do go check that out, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very, very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys, so thank you for your support. And it really means a lot to me, and I really love to do this for you guys. So any support you would like to give the channel to help it grow and flourish would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And thank you so much, okay. For Aries, first half of September already. Already, can you believe it? Where is time going? And I hope everybody's doing well. Aries, first half of September. Love connection reading. And this can be for any type of connection for anyone you have in mind. So we'll see what we get here. If you clicked on the title, there's probably something here for you. This is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a planet, sign, or element. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is a little extra bonus. The rest of the reading, or parts of it, may be for you. So, Aries, love connection reading. First half of September, spirit, please. What kind of energy, what may some Aries be dealing with? The first half of September. And we have Pluto here which is Scorpio energy so some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio if not maybe uh, they have Scorpio in their chart somewhere or it could just be the energy of the planet uh, Pluto which is all about the basics of life it's about life death birth rebirth um, sex power and control hmm and you have 22 there which is four which is about stability structure foundation basis hmm so i don't know we'll see how that plays into your reading i don't know we'll see how that plays into your reading all right all the decks have been um pre-shuffle cut meditate on off camera there is some shuffling on camera please be patient with that okay all right so this is the whispers of love first i'll get an overall love energy so let's get an overall love energy for aries the first half of september what is their love energy with like <laughs> what is their love energy like in this connection spirit please for aries one card what is their overall love energy like in this connection there we go be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. And then we have 39 there, which is 12, which is three. A three is about teamwork, working together, collaboration, um, compromise. So working together. So needing, so needing to be, you know, make sure you're authentic in this relationship, in this connection, being true to who you are and how you feel and make sure they're authentic also and three is also about working together so I don't know maybe you work with this person or this is a needing just needing to just meet in the middle and compromise and work together on this um, connection all right so I don't know let's see what's going on okay so Aries let's get one card now for you and how you are feeling in this connection and about this person and then one card for your person and how they are feeling about you in this connection so how are you feeling in this connection and about this person we have practice compassion see things from a different perspective and we have 15 which is six which is about healing and balancing things out so and I was getting the message too with this like rebirth kind of energy. Maybe, um, maybe there's a need to like revamp this connection in some way. If you've already been with this person for a while, 
maybe there's a need here to like revitalize, revamp the connection, uh, seeing things in a new um, light, being you know compassion, compassionate again towards this towards this person and this connection. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. So how are is your person feeling towards you in this connection? So we have like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Wow. And two is about people coming together. So I definitely feel like um, like they're wanting to put the passion spark back into this connection also. So it's like you're wanting somehow to, maybe things have been getting a little boring and stagnant. Um, and maybe you're losing, um, how do I want to say this? Maybe losing like the feeling of why you first came together in the first place. Maybe this has been like a long-term connection and you're feeling like you're drifting apart here and you're like losing the authenticity of this connection. But um, I think you're wanting to come back in and, you know, see things in a different way, different light, being more, more compassionate. And they're also wanting the same thing. So and there's a need here to be really honest and authentic with each other. All right. So let's see what the overall energy is uh, on the bottom of the deck. So we have demonstrate love, find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. So, Wow. And we have 84 here, which is 12, which is three, which is again about that teamwork collaboration. So I think you need, really need to work together here. Find out, you know, how can we revamp this? How can we renew this? How can we put the spark back into this relationship? And then acting on that and demonstrating that with each other. And then we have spend some quality time together. And we have six and four, which is 10 which is about endings, but then there's a new beginning. So I, I don't think this is, um, I mean, Scorpio is the death card in tarot. I don't really feel like this is the end of a relationship. I feel like it's an ending of old ways and how things are and like revamping and renewing the connection and spending more quality time together. It's imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with listening and talking to each other. Wow. And I just said that communicating, working together. What can we do to revamp, revitalize, bring the passion and the love back in to get this back to the authentic connection that we once had and practicing that compassion with each other once again. Wow. So, and then under that, we have turn on your hot light 36, nine. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. So that's looking back to a time when, you know, when you were first together and how much love and excitement and passion and how authentic maybe you were back then and maybe you lost track of that. And it's time now to turn the heart light back on. Wow. So we have uh, a lot of meshes, messages there. So let's see. Let's put these over here. Make sure you could see those. All right, let's do. Okay, let's do that. All right, so it's like rebirthing the relationship for you. I feel like here and four is also about you know about stability, commitment, marriage basis, foundation. So I feel like um, for some of you, this may be a long-term connection in some way. And maybe there's been a little disconnect, like the spark's been going out, but you want to like re-spark it, you know, or one of you want to do that, want to put the spark back in. All right. So Aries, let's clarify for you, practice compassion. Why do we have that here for Aries? Why do we have that here for Aries spirit, please? And this love connection. First half of September, one card please for Aries spirit. Oh, there we go, the Hermit. All right, this is Virgo energy. So this is about going within and reflecting and um, thinking. So I, th I feel like here, you know, you thought about this long and hard with this person. 
You've seen the light, you know the way now. This is putting the light back on, sparking that light we had over here. Turn on your hot light. So I think, I think here you finally realize that you know, things have been going maybe in a stalemate and wanting to get that compassion, love, authenticity, spark, everything back into this connection and realizing here, you know, if you have been very distant from one another, even though you're all together, living together, whether it's marriage or just living together, the hermit is kind of like, yeah, you're living together, but you're kind of like doing your own thing. Like you're both kind of being in a solitude energy from one another and that hermit energy. But also this is thinking and reflecting and knowing things need to change here and really doing that inner journey work. You know, what can we do in this relationship? All right, so let's get one for your person. Light attracts light. So I also feel like in their energy that if you're like being distant from them, that they are distant from you. So they kind of like mirror whatever your energy is. If you are being distant, then I feel like they're distant. If you start to show love and compassion again, then they start to show love and compassion again. So it's like a mirroring effect because we have light attracts light and that's like a mirroring, mirroring effect. All right, so why do we have light attracts light here? So we have the three of pentacles in reverse, right? So <laughs> this is earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. So the three of pentacles upright is about working together, teamwork, collaboration. But in, th but in reverse, it's like not working together. So, you know, the more you kind of go off and do your own thing away from this person, the more likely and they are to like also retreat from you and it's like not working together with you. So you're kind of like in a hermit energy and they're kind of like not working together with you also. So it's kind of is like the same energy here. Oh boy, Aries. So what is the actual situation here with you, Aries? Okay, so we have Justice, Libra Energy, connecting to you. So, Justice, Libra. So you're either wanting, you know, the balance back in this relationship. You want the communication back in this relationship. Um, you want justice in this relationship back to the way it used to be, or you're thinking about leaving the situation that can be about, um, it can be about, um, divorce or like separating or leaving the situation. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I don't feel comfortable taking that. Okay. All right feel comfortable taking these okay so now connecting to them we have the three of wands so this is about you know and here's that heart light but this is about uh, this is fire energy connecting to them so you know this is about setting out on a journey this is about going in a direction this is about just waiting this is patiently waiting so I think you know they could be patiently waiting for you to, you know, turn your heart, because we have the heart light here and the heart light here. So they could be patiently waiting for you to start showing them more love and compassion and turning on your hot light again. And I think they will reciprocate that if you do that. But whatever your energy you're in, it's like they get into the same energy and then there's discord and discontent. But if you start to show love, compassion, start to heal and balance out the scales and communicate, then I think they're waiting for that also. I think they will also do the same. And then connecting the two of you is the seven of pentacles. This is earth energy again. So this is just like sitting back and just, this is patiently waiting again. So two cards of patiently waiting. So used two are both kind of like, you know, just sitting there waiting for the other to, you know, well, well what are we gonna do? Are we gonna like revamp? Are we gonna leave, separate? Are we going to revamp, revitalize this connection? Whatever it is for you, it's like a stagnant energy here between the two of you, but some sort of justice needs to be had in this connection. 
whether you start healing and balancing out the scales and communicating and start bringing the passion and the spark back in and the love and the compassion, or you decide to leave this connection. So um, there needs to be some sort of authenticity in this connection and truth. I think you could work it out and bring back the spark, the spark, the love, and the compassion if you choose to. But there's a lot of stubborn, stagnant energy here between the two of you. I think they're waiting for you, but the two of you are just kind of sitting here like, la, 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 and not like doing anything. <laughs> just like patiently waiting, patiently waiting, waiting for something to grow, waiting for, you know, it to go in a new direction, you know, something new, something, waiting for something new in a new direction, waiting for the heart light to come on, to be turned back on. All right, so Aries, let's see what your advice is in this connection. Aries, two cards for Aries for advice in this connection. Advice in this connection for Aries. Two cards, please. All right, that one and that one. Top and bottom. All right, Aries. What's going on? Advice for you. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups and we have Death again, which I had said Scorpio is Death. Nines are usually a solitude energy, but it's also an energy of joy and happiness and wishes and dreams coming true. And death is about an ending and a new beginning. So something ending and a new beginning. So you could end up uh, leaving this situation, becoming single for some of you. Or some of you here could be ending the way things are and rebirthing this connection. And uh, having like a whole new revitalized connection with this person. So I think it's up to you. I think you're going to have to follow your heart and what you want, what you're hoping and wishing for. And if that's ending this connection or starting over, like rebirthing it, I think you need to follow whatever's best for you. So what could be the outcome of the situation? So we have the Six of Cups. So, you know, this is nostalgia, remembering the past, remembering your time together. Uh, maybe you've been with this person a very long time, since high school, maybe you've known them since childhood. Um, you could have even had past lives with this person. This definitely is a soulmate connection. So you could be ending, you know, the stalemate here and starting over, starting fresh. Thinking back on all the fond memories with this person, maybe you've even had children with this uh, person. Or you see this energy of going off on your own and, you know, with a child here. But, um, I don't know. I think you're just going to have to do whatever you feel like is best for you. Follow your heart, your gut, your, intu your intuition of what you feel you should do. You can either leave, walk away, and start over and start fresh, start new, alone. Or you can revamp and revitalize this connection here. So let's get more um, clarity here. The Eight of Wands. So here's the fire energy. There's your energy. So there's moving, travel, action. I'm getting moving on. So some of you might decide just to move on from this connection. Because I feel like they're not working. And working in this connection. And you feel like alone and on your own over here with the hermit energy. Um, a lot of like stalemate energy here I'm not doing anything and you're wanting justice in this connection so I feel like for some of you you may decide to eat a wands uh, go off on your own here king of pentacles so this is earth energy so this is very stable sturdy grounded energy um, so I mean you could just be focused on yourself your work your career your finances getting your stability back, being practical as you move on or move forward. And there's a brand new beginning here, so this is stability. Uh, so you could be just, again, starting over, starting fresh, but now just concentrating. And when I was shuffling your cards before I came on camera, I was looking on the one Aries on your card, which is about a new beginning. 
So you may be starting over, starting fresh on your own, but just concentrating on your work, your career, your finances, and rebuilding yourself, your foundation, your stability, as with the King of Pentacles energy here, and not really focusing on anything new, just kind of like on you, on yourself. The sun, so Leo energy. So, you know, again, you may have children, but this is, again, success, happiness, uh, victory, happy home and family, growth, abundance, transformation, enlightenment, um, everything positive. So whatever you decide to do here, I think will be the best option for you. So whoever's watching this, or if you're really being feeling led to work it out, I would say do that. If you're really feeling led to leave, and I'm not telling anybody to leave, just follow your heart. Whatever decision you decide here will be the best for you with the sun energy here. All right, so we have the page of wands. So this is fire energy, your energy. So this is, you know, news, good news, exciting news, offers, uh, communication, passionate, commun exciting, new endeavors, you know. So you could be, you know, going off on your own now and going, getting messages about new adventures, new excitement, new endeavors, new projects, uh, communication there good news coming in that you're excited about in some way all right let's see here so the ace of wands so there's your another brand new passionate brand new beginning so again i feel like you could just be concentrating on new adventures ideas uh, projects endeavors work career and moving forward in all that energy this is your energy Aries, Leo, and Sag. And I feel like you may just want to focus on yourself now moving forward. If you decide to leave the situation, if not, this is re-sparking the passion and the stability back into this connection. And being very successful and victorious here. So here's a Wheel of Fortune. So Sagittarius energy. So this is things going in a better direction. The, way, the uh, wheel of fate, destiny, um, fortune, things turning in your favor, going in your favor, having abundant success, wealth, prosperity, things turning in the right direction. Whatever direction you go in, the wheel is here to say it's the right direction for you. Follow your heart. Be authentic to who you are. All right. Yeah, four of cups energy here. So, yeah, feeling disenchanted, melancholy, blah, like there's no rep, uh, reciprocation here. Um, just feeling very bored in your situation for some of you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now. So we have the unknown card. So exactly. <laughs> the unknown, um, not knowing what's going to happen, what's what's going to lie ahead. Um, I think it's truly up to you um, what you want to do here. What is the unknown? The fool. So jumping in a new beginning here, taking a leap of faith, resetting, restarting at zero. So again, some of you may be going off on your own here and taking a whole new leap, a whole new start. This is um, Aquarius energy um, and just starting over, starting fresh, and you have no idea what will happen. It is unknown what will happen in the future. So again, you may have some fear of the unknown here, a little uh, mental entrapment, blockages, feeling a little nervous and scared, like I can't see what's coming ahead, I don't know what's going to happen. So in the back of your mind you know, having some of those blockages of having fear of the unknown of what's going to happen, this new beginning. But you have the King of Cups energy. So, I mean, this could be uh, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is the Scorpio energy here. So some of you could be, um, and now we got the Queen of Cups. So, so some of you in the Ace of Swords underneath with brand new beginning, truth, clarity, uh, communication, sort of victory, cutting away things, not serving the connection anymore. So I really feel like chariot moving forward in a positive direction, positive movement forward, clear cut, 
open, honest communication, victory, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for the things that are serving you. And it could be king and queen soulmate connection here. So for some of you that choose to work it out, I do think things will get better and things will uh, go in a better direction here. I do feel like this is a soulmate for you. But some of you are a little scared, you know, will things work out? You know, if we start over, start fresh, will things work out? You know, fearing the unknown of what lies ahead. So for some of you, um, follow your heart, whatever you feel is the best to do. If you work it out, I see things definitely will get better. And if you go on your own, things will also work out also. So it's totally up to you. All the energy is here of things working out and going in a better direction or going on your own and going solo and things working out for you also in that way. So, and I had a very similar reading uh, I just did first half of September for um, maybe Capricorn had the same message. So if you, some of you are dealing with a Capricorn, maybe you might want to watch that. All right, so let's get some... Okay, consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. So maybe some of you just need counseling um, and therapy to work things out here. And maybe things will work out. So maybe some of you, or this could be going through a legal process here to, you know, do what you feel is best. Okay, what else? What else? For Aries, first half of September. No, oh, that's way too many. Way too many. Anything else for Aries? First half of September. Mother healing. As your feelings toward your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. So, again, if you're, and I did see that maybe you do have children, if you are a female watching this, that. Um, if you're hurt by this connection that you couldn't heal and maybe you could take the first steps into healing the situation. Let's see if we have anything else for Aries. Yep, have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. So some of you who are hoping to heal the situation, just have faith that everything will be fine. And maybe you just need counseling and therapy for others. Um, whatever you decide to do here, um, do what's best for you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Friendship. Make a date for a play day with one or more friends. So maybe you just need to um, maybe, you know, consult your friends. Get some advice from friends um, about and talk, you know, to your friends about your situation advice, guidance, ask for recommendations, references for, you know, some expert advice. Okay, Aries, um, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below. Um, maybe past readings will resonate for you. You can find the playlist there. I'd say disregard the dates. If the title resonates for you, I would say watch it. There may be a message in there for you. If you do like the way I read, you like my style, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. Good luck to you here in your situation. Whatever you choose to do, follow your heart, and it'll be the best choice for you. So I'm sending you many like light, love, and blessings and healing energy. And... I hope to see you next time, and as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.